My dad was actually asking me the other day, how can you like spend so much time just sitting in front of canvases and you know, like I spend, you know, eight hours of my day usually sitting in front of my canvas work and um, if I'm not doing something else, if I'm not painting a mural or something. Um, it's like how do you not get how do you get not get bored, you know? And I just kind of, you know, like think that it's so, like for me, it's just so damn entertaining. Um, it's like, it's like you're producing magic or something, you know, it's like you don't even, you don't even realize how and why you're doing what you're doing and um, just kind of following your instincts around and like, you know, something amazing's happening in front of you. It feels like there's something it's a it, it's a communication with um, and I, I don't know if it's like it's and it, maybe it's kind of like childhood where you feel like your stuffed animals are talking to you or something you know or they, they, you're having a real relationship with them like that's the same kind of experience I'm having when I'm working with a canvas is like a child with a stuffed animal because I know the thing's not talking you know like my intellect knows that this is just like you know materials stapled onto wood with like liquid plastic smeared all over it or whatever but like it feels like it's talking to me and telling me what to do and it's all about communication and connection at least that's what my art is and it's like I really like I have an urge to connect with people and um, using visual imagery is kind of my strongest way of being able to do that because we're all basically having the same experience, just in different, uh, different ways. Do you recognize these characters from murals around town? Yes, in fact, uh, my son's name is Henry, and we drive around Ballard mostly and look for all the murals. And whenever I see a new one, if I'm not with my son, then uh, the next time we're in the car together, I'll drive by and point it out to him. I started noticing them a couple years ago. Ever since then, they just kind of pop up. You know, I've done so many other different jobs, like I owned a landscape company for a while and I was putting like 70 hours a week into it and it kind of made me realize that like if I'm willing to put 70 hours a week into landscaping, why wouldn't I put 70 hours a week into my own work? I want, I had this huge urge to do something creative and um, make it my, you know, life's work. So that was kind of my attitude when I went into it was like, I'm going to push this thing as hard as I can for five years. And so kind of all the things I want, you know, were, was looking at achieving was kind of in that same time frame. And so I thought, well, if I'm willing to, like, you know, go to school and get a Ph.D. and do something that I don't, you know, care about entirely, why wouldn't I put that energy into something that I am totally in love with? I think within the first, you know, four or five months of doing it, I was like, oh, this is going to work, sweet. <laughs> and it was kind of shocking, actually, to me how fast it did, the, you know, my stuff did start selling and people, you know, did appreciate my work. Being an artist, like, sometimes it takes 20 years of work to really, like, be recognized and get your stuff off the ground, and it was like, kind of felt like I was getting old a late start at it, so I kind of pushed a lot harder. I was thinking of having a total of like 300 things, 300. images to put in. I was like, I want to make a living at this now. <laughs> you know, I don't want to like, I don't want to wait 10 years and tell people like, go, oh, I've seen your stuff, you know. I was like, I'm going to make everybody see my stuff. Uh, I have a hundred and nine murals up right now you know honestly like I was I don't sell any more canvases than I did before I had the murals up I thought it would function more as an advertisement for the canvas work but it's kind of its own entity and its own its own craft outside of canvas work they're kind of two different worlds 
what we got here is uh, kind of this dog's observation. It's supposed to kind of like just be his daydream. There's no real meaning behind any of it. That's kind of the point is to keep it meaningless because it kind of allows the observer to project their own uh, sense of meaning onto it like over time. Like if you put too much like intended meaning into your work, then it doesn't really allow the observer to come up with their own meaning for things. And kind of the, the adult psychedelic mind and the child's imagination when, you know, um, trying to bring those two things together. It's kind of, um, kind of in a playful, fun way. So there's material here for adults and children, you know. Oh, someone like came into a gallery and bought a piece of my artwork. Like, it was shocking to me that like, people like my stuff and enough to like pull out their wallet and purchase it. Thanks man. Yeah, no problem. Just the process of that has just kind of helped me believe in myself. It's, that's the interesting thing about doing canvas work is you don't, you have to let go of control of uh, where your little creations go <laughs> into the world. You just gotta kind of wonder about them. I, I guess it's a good like form of spirituality or something, you know, um, painting and selling art because it, you know, you put your soul into it and then you have to let it go. It's kind of a small scale, small scale description of what happens in reality in all our relationships. Like eventually they're all gone. Struggling right now, but somehow it just always works. <laughs> And there's definitely ways I could be making, you know, a lot more money than I make, but I'm uh, pretty stubbornly driven to do my art in the, like, purest way I can for myself. That's, you know, that's the overall thing I'm doing is putting, like, a thumbprint on the world, and the thumbprint I want to put on the world is me, you know, and uh, not what people want from me. And that's kind of why I do art in the first place. I believe in it 100% that I'm doing the best thing I can do on this planet. It's really cool to like inspire people and you know make people want to like, you know, be more positive and be more uh, prolific in whatever work they're doing. You know, there's all these potential artists out there. You know, and it's the same instinct I have to create that they have, but they're you know. They just need to like really believe in themselves and find that voice and do something cool and original in the world. Well, this is uh, a Henry original from uh, 87 when we were uh, in elementary school together. Uh, he won a competition uh, to uh, make the shirt for the marathon 